Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. About 86% of Earth's species have yet to be fully described. Each year, a few more are added to the list. And then there are creatures that baffle scientists with their mysterious appearances. You can just imagine the amount of work scientists have to do. Monster Leech. Starting from one of the most awe-inspiring creatures, the Kinabalu giant red leech is a large, bright, orange-red colored leech that differs from most of its kind. This difference manifests itself in terms of its diet, unlike its cousins. It does not feed on the fluid of its prey. Instead, it feeds carnivorously and consumes only giant worms for nourishment by sucking them down like spaghetti and swallowing them at once. This astounding leech is endemic to Mount Kinabalu and is the largest of its kind that can grow to an extraordinary length of over 20 inches. It lives in the damp leaf litter and soil and is usually seen during or after heavy downpours. Hybrid Armadillo This eerie creature shocked the farmers when they found a human-faced armadillo in the center of the woods. Apparently, it looks like a human baby wearing an armadillo costume, but on a closer look, it looks more like a hybrid armadillo. Soon, its video created hype on social media, and netizens were baffled to know more about this mysterious creature. However, when this clip stirred quite a chaos, the truth was uncovered, as this so-called hybrid armadillo was nothing more than an artwork. The silicon sculpture had quite a number of people fooled into believing it was indeed some strange creature. Noisy Katie Did This insect can fool you through its brilliant, leafy look, until it breaks the silence by the sheer volume of noise it makes. Meet Katie Did the longhorned grasshopper that is mostly known for its weird mating, Katie Did, Katie Didn't song, which is produced by rubbing its rigid forewings together. The calls not only show their reproductive nature, but it shows their aggression too. This cricket is known for its large hind legs and extremely long thread-like antennae, and is typically found in every region of the world except Antarctica. Physarum polycephalum with no brain at all. Physarum polycephalum, an acellular slime mold known as the blob, is a bright yellow macroscopic multinucleate cenocyte shaped in a network of interlaced tubes. With no distinguishable cell wall or appendages, this organism undergoes a shuttle flow rhythmically, flowing back and forth, changing direction typically every 100 seconds and painting each thing yellow that comes in its path. This intelligent mold is known to reach its food crossing a riddled maze. It mostly feeds upon bacteria or fungi, and is most commonly found in cool, humid, dark places, such as leaf litter and other organic debris in forests. Giant Tarantula Seeing a spider in your bedroom isn't scary, the real problem starts when it disappears. And if the spider is a giant tarantula, you gotta leave your room without thinking for a second, because its bite will cause you nausea, vomiting, or even fever. This giant tarantula is also known as the Goliath bird eater, as one of them was witnessed eating a hummingbird. This largest spider by mass is mostly found in South America. When threatened, it rubs its abdomen with its hind legs and releases hairs that are a severe irritant to the skin and mucous membranes. These urticating hairs can be harmful to humans and cause inflammation of the skin, including pain, redness, itching, and swelling that can last for weeks. Coconut Crab this palm thief shocked the scientists by cracking a coconut using its massive pincers. The squeeze of a coconut crab's pincers can be much stronger than a human's grip. That isn't all it eats, as it has also been observed preying on rats, migratory seabirds, and even on each other. This terrestrial crustacean isn't just known for its coconut-breaking abilities. 
but for its thieving skills too, as a crab was witnessed stealing items like saucepans, bottles, and even a boot. Later, a researcher noticed another coconut crab toting a bottle of whiskey behind it. This largest anthropod of three feet is typically found in coastal forests with plenty of rock crevices and soil for digging burrows, mostly across the Indo-Pacific Ocean. Pink Slug Australian wildlife officials were stunned to find dozens of enormous tongue-like figures at the top of an extinct volcano who survived the bushfires that ripped through their habitat. The giant neon pink slugs cannot be found in the wild anywhere else in the world, so seeing one in person is a special treat. These vibrant critters are fungivores, as they feed on algae, mold, and moss by breaking down the plant material and turning it into nutrient-rich soil, which helps plants grow. They mostly find their prey on misty nights and usually disappear as the day breaks to avoid finding themselves in the beak of a laughing kookaburra or pied currawong. Long Waddled Umbrella Bird This long waddled umbrella bird astonished the scientists, not only because of its distinctive appearance, but also due to its flying ability, which is more difficult for it, so it hops from branch to branch using its clawed toes. This slow flyer only flies for short distances. The all-black male sports a crest of fine, hair-like feathers that hang all the way over its bill, giving it the look of having an umbrella. This unusual species also has a 35-centimeter long waddle dangling from the middle of its chest covered in short, scaly feathers, and when inflated, looks somewhat like a pine cone. A total population of 6,000 to 15,000 mature individuals was estimated in 2012 and is now thought to be under pressure from habitat destruction through deforestation and hunting. Giant Squid People were baffled when a live giant squid of more than 10 feet washed ashore in western Japan. This extraordinary seaside discovery excited the scientists as these elusive creatures inhabit the deep ocean. And with their unfathomable size, it's very rare to witness these giant monsters alive. This prime example of deep sea gigantism indicates that creatures from the deep tend to grow significantly larger with some enthralling characteristics like their beach ball-sized eyes that help them navigate the depths of the ocean as they move and feed using their eight arms and two long tentacles. What scientists find particularly interesting is the giant squid's complex nervous system and brain. There are few opportunities to study these incredible creatures, so when this one washed up alive, it created waves in the ocean science community. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by one of our subscribers. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it on over to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. This otherworldly creature was spotted crawling inside an abandoned research center and shocked the scientists with its weird elongated appendages. Researchers were baffled and curious to know about its origin and claimed that it might be a mutated worm that shoots out its venomous proboscis, which wraps around its prey to mow it down. It's nothing like that. In reality, this is an art sculpture made by an artist to campaign about the changes animals went through during the disaster, but looks more like ribbon worms. Frigate Bird this birdie that belongs to the family of seabirds surprised the biologists with the most uncommon red pouch only in a male bird that inflates during the mating season to attract a female that is usually bigger in size. Having a long tail, wings, and bills, this bird can grow much longer than you would expect. Because of their size, they lack the ability to take off from water so they snatch prey from the ocean surface or beach, which is mostly fish or squids. To do this, they use their long, hooked bills. Along with this, the magnificent bird is able to soar for weeks on wind currents and spends most of the day in flight, hunting for food and roosting on trees or cliffs at night. 
spiny bush viper. This venomous snake, native to Africa, thunderstruck the researchers with its extremely keeled dorsal scales that give a unique shaggy idea to its skin, an almost bristly appearance. The scales around the head and neck are the longest, decreasing posteriorly. Spiny bush viper varies in color and doesn't make a hissing sound by rasping the scales of its tail. Inhabiting the tropical dry forests and rainforests, this ambush predator often hunts at night, with its diet typically consisting of mammals, frogs, and sometimes birds. The venom from this solitary and nocturnal viper can cause fever, severe inflammation, and even end you in a few days. See you next time with some shocking discoveries.